here today to talk about the differences between the factory torque converter and the diesel engines and our five-star torque converter. So our five-star torque converter, pretty much we upgrade just about every component inside the torque converter from fluid coupling to lockup assembly. And torque converters are typically one of those areas that are kind of like black magic, you know, not explained very well. So I'm going to kind of make it very simple without going into enormous detail but give a simple explanation of how we build our torque converter, why the torque converter is so good, and some of the unique factors of the five-star torque converter. So starting with the basic torque converter is we'll start with the cover. So the cover is the piece that actually bolts to the engine. So you have the factory cover and you have our five-star cover, which you can see there's quite a difference there. But just based on visual appearances, let me give you some technical aspects behind it. So with our torque converter, one of the first things we do is we get rid of the factory lockup clutch and we go to a multiple disc clutch. So it's not necessarily just about that though, it's really the construction of how it all works. So what happens with a factory torque converter, all factory torque converters are pretty much single disc units. And you have this portion that's hooked to the engine, which you have your six bolts here that hook to the flex plate. As the engine rotates, this assembly is hooked to the impeller, which is this part, it's actually welded, and this impeller is actually your vanes that drive fluid energy from the engine to the transmission, and that's the turbine section. The turbine section is what captures energy, rotates, and spins the tranny. There's a lot of things that happen in the mix of that that I'll make relatively easy for you. So back to the cover. What we have in the cover is the lockup clutch. This is your portion that's hooked to the engine and it spins. And like I said, the turbine, this guy is your lockup clutch. So your lockup clutch is what actually engages power from the, from the cover to the turbine, which is hooked to the input shaft of the tranny. So when this spins, it actually transfers power from the cover to the piston. And all of that power is expected to be transferred directly from the cover to the piston of the transmission, just basically by a fluid action. So the hydraulic coupling fluid action presses fluid against this piston and squeezes this piston, compresses it to the cover, and all of the engine power has to be transferred through this clutch disc. Well, as you can see, this is a clutch disc that was been in the vehicle for a little while. It's obviously failed. You can see how burned up it is. That black is basically burned and glazed friction material, which was slipping on the cover. And if you see the cover here, you can tell that it was slipping pretty substantially because you have black marks. So that was hot enough to actually blue the material. So as that begins to slip, it just literally burns up the friction material. And as it burns up the friction material, then you have a torque converter clutch that begins to slip and you can't tr transfer power. And more so what happens is all this friction material is peeled off of the piston and it contaminates the transmission, clogs up the cooler, so this is the first sign of failure in a torque converter. Pretty much most diesel transmissions fail directly from overpowering the friction disc and it burns up the converter. So what we've done is we have replaced this assembly with our five star cover, which is this big billet piece. You'll see it has tabs inside of it, these square tabs, which I'll show you in a moment what those tabs are for. But it also has 12 bolts, so we've doubled up the bolts around the cover, not only doubling the amount of bolts that are around the cover to hold power, but we also do not have the tabs on the converter that are prone to wrinkling, and you lose your flat surface, which means you lose your ability for the clutch to hold. So with one big billet cover, we have no flexing, we have more bolts on it, have a big, thick, heavy ring. But most importantly is this piston that's in the stock converter is actually replaced with this, this thin steel piece with our billet, big, heavy duty piston assembly. And you'll see the tabs in it. So what we've done is we've built a clutch pack that fits inside the torque converter and this clutch pack essentially engages on the inner and the outer tabs, creating a clutch pack effect inside the torque converter. So instead of having this wimpy single disc 
you actually now have five discs that rotate independently inside the torque converter. And this cover splines into, I'm sorry, these clutches spline into the cover of the trans torque converter. So you get a clutch pack effect, which essentially gives you 100% application of torque when we squeeze them all together. When you apply everything, they latch together and you have a clutch pack inside the torque converter that gives you the ability to hold just about any level of torque you want. Typically a single friction is good for about 550 foot-pounds of torque before it begins a slow slip. Every time you add a friction element to it, you essentially double that original value, which means that the ATS Triple Lock or the Five Star is good for over 1,700 foot-pounds of torque with factory line pressures. So simply by replacing the torque converter, you have a torque converter that is three to five times the torque capacity of the factory converter. And we've elim completely eliminated the flexing of the piston, the flexing of the cover, and most importantly, because of the square tab construction, you'll find that our square tabs, they give complete connection to the cover. And that's actually patented in our torque converters, so this is the only torque converter in the world that you'll find with square tab construction because we patented the system. And that allows for no vibration, no movement. So as engine torsionals begin to move around, you don't have the wearing that we do with a lot of competitors' converters because they're round tab construction. That's also why it's a two-piece cover. So every triple lock, ATS triple lock torque converter or five-star converter um, utilizes this technology, square tab construction with the two-piece cover that gives you unbelievable performance and ability to hold torque. So it reduces or completely eliminates the heat and gives you the ability to hold pretty much any power level you want. Um, of course, you know, heavy pulling, anything to racing, drivability, you kind of get everything you want. So going to the fluid portion of the converter, as we talked about, some of the simple things that we do inside the torque converter, you'll find your factory impellers, which is this is the part that took to the engine, the fan. And of course, like I said, that's welded to your cover, which gives you the complete assembly, right? Then all the parts go inside of it. This being hooked to the engine is your primary pump, so we furnace sprays all the components inside the impeller and the turbine, which basically means we've, we weld each one of them. You'll find the factory covers are just put in and bent over. They're very flimsy, so they have a tendency of moving around, and that's often what blows up in a torque converter, just because they're so just production oriented. So we take that impeller, and we weld all the veins inside the, inside the turbine, and then we put in hardened turbine splines. So these turbine splines, as it locks in to the piston, gives you that nice one-to-one -one connection, and it doesn't wear out the splines, because the splines have a tendency of wearing out uh, where the input shaft goes in because of the high mileage. So that makes it brutally strong. And then last, which is the most important part of performance, or drivability is what the stator does. Well, this is your stock stator. What the stator does is it redirects fluid from the engine as it's a big pump. This is spinning and fluid is thrown off the impeller and it drives into the turbine. Then as it exits the turbine, the stator is here to catch it and redirect fluid back into engine rotation, which is essentially what makes your stall speed and it's what generates torque. So torque multiplication is literally the efficiency of how well you transfer that power, that wasted energy from fluid from the turbine back into the engine. The stator's job of doing that is to redirect the fluid. The problem is the cast stators do not redirect fluid really well because they're kind of inexpensively made and they have a tendency of blowing up. A good example is the plastic stator cap here. So this stator cap that rides on the impeller like so it is essentially plastic so it just doesn't you know work very well it doesn't take a lot of load so what we do with our billet stator is we actually build a bearing assembly and throughout the converter it's all running on bearings so you can run really tight clearances and you don't have any of the engine preload problems with the stator and more importantly is the stator itself 
is all billet construction. So this is a few different ones that we have. We have everything from a really high torque multiplication lower stall stator to a high stall stator. And really the function of this stator, like I say, is to redirect that oil flow from the turbine, redirect it back into the engine, and do it in an efficient manner so you have a lot of fluid transfer. So you want redirection, but you want, also want transfer. So if you take a look at your stock stator, you know, you can't really get much through that. I mean, fingers don't even fit through it because they're so wide because it's a cast stator. So building this out of billet, we can go with really thin veins and get the redirection we want and pass the fluid through. So we kind of get the best of both worlds. And you will see that the metal ring on the outside, the way it's pinned, the billet stator, then we can press a heavy duty one-way roller clutch inside of it. And the one-way roller clutch gives it the ability to overrun, but hold huge amounts of torque when it's under load. So that's especially important when you're accelerating from a stop. As soon as you accelerate, that engine revs up, starts building a little boost, and this is where your redirection happens, and that's what increases torque multiplication. So this is the reason the combination between the impeller, the stator, and the turbine, how those three interact together, gives you your stall speed and your max torque multiplication, and of course giving you low RPM drop. So when you do lock the converter clutch, because you have five clutches, that you have a nice clean transition from fluid coupling to lockup. So that's kind of a little bit of a highlight of the five star and the triple lock ATS torque converter that's available in all of our packages. All of our converters have a five year, 500,000 mile warranty and they are available generally in five to seven different stall speeds. So anything from daily driving, pulling heavy, racing, pretty much any application you're after, we have the torque converter for you. So for more information, um, jump on our website, atsdiesel.com. Go to the converter section and read all about it. There's lots of tech articles, lots of information. Uh, we've had this torque converter out for about 20 years now. So, you know, long standing. Had made a lot of changes in the last 10 years, really. Um, just a phenomenal piece. So I encourage you to take a look. Thank you.